Eight years, 364 episodes, and still not satisfied. Hi, I'm Mayur. And I'm Rocky. And I'm hungry. Having eaten food equivalent to the weight of five elephants, they've earned themselves the title of the hungriest foodies with ever-growing waistlines. But now, they've decided to get fit. Man, somebody up there really likes us. I mean, look at this. Mauritius, the beach, ocean, tons of food. We're super lucky. Listen, I'm very happy with my third drink. But ordering the third lunch at a go, that's a little excessive even for me. Yeah, kya baat kar what have you done for eight years? Traveled all over the country, eaten at least three helpings for at least four meals a day. People love to feed us everywhere we go. Suddenly, you're saying that you can't eat this. Come on. That's true, yeah. What I need to do is take a small nap and once I wake up, I'll be ready to eat again. It's a good idea. Lovely. Let's do this. And listen, if you wake up before me, don't eat my share, okay? Rocky and Mayur, if you think about it, there is a lot that a car has in common with the human body. For starters, the car has an engine and the human body has the heart. The difference is that the engine gets some rest. When you switch off the car, the engine gets a break. But the human heart gets no break. The car has a carburetor that ensures clean fuel reaches the engine. The human body has the liver. It detoxifies, it manufactures, and it makes sure that the right nutrients reach the body. And of course, we have the kidneys that remove the toxins. You ask anyone who has a car, when was the last time you had your car serviced? And they'll say, the last three months, six months, nine months, one year. But you ask a group of people, when was the last time they visited a doctor? Not when they were unwell, but when they needed to get a medical check, a preventive health check, and the answer is going to be, I don't remember. Isn't it strange that we attach more importance to a car compared to the human body, which we know we can't replace because the human body is priceless. Hey, <laughs> Khana. <laughs> Good nap. Third course. Oh, man. I'm just really looking forward to eating this. Also, by the way, do you know Dr. Sybil by any chance? Dr. Gatlis? <laughs> you had the same dream that I had? But listen, if we both had the same dream, let's go and get to the bottom of why this dream is coming to us continuously because this is the third time I've had this in three days. Me too. You want us to uh, get fit? Hey, Mayo, come on. There's a whole bunch of hospitals offering health checkups. Here's the one that seems the most organized. Apollo Personalized Health Check. A unique health plan tailored especially for you. There's one for you, and I'm not going, so there's none for me. I'm going to fix an appointment because you can do that right here. We are going to Hyderabad. We are going to Hyderabad. Why are you putting my name in the hospital checkup? I'll go to Hyderabad. There's some really good food out there. There's a full South Indian breakfast included in the test. Free meal? I'll do it. It's all done. It's all set. We are all booked. We are going for a health checkup, my friend. Give me five. Come on. No way. You can have one bite. Oh. One bite is all I need. Thank you. Can't stop me, I'm a champion, I'm a champion, I'm a champion. Can't stop me, I'm a champion, I'm a champion, I'm a champion. You, 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 you can't, 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 you can't stop me, can't, can't, can't stop, stop, you, you can't stop me. Come on, let's get it. You can't stop me, I'm a champion, I'm a champion, I'm a champion. Here's my tale of the tape.
Here's my tale of the tape. I said we'd come here, but do we really need to be here? I mean, I'm walking on my own two feet. I can breathe. Why do I need to be here? My friend, after your 40, it's very important to get this done. Come on, they're waiting for us. Really? See you. How are you? Welcome Namaskar. to Thank you. Can I help you, sir? Uh, yeah, uh, we're doing that personalized health checkup for Mayur Sharma and Rocky Singh. Okay, sir. You have any prior appointment with us? Yes, we have an appointment. Please come. Okay. Hi, Mr. Santosh. Thank you, thank you. I could have been eating a meal somewhere. Tell me again why we need to do this. Okay, so four years ago, I just walked into a hospital for a checkup. They found a gallbladder stone the size of a ping pong ball almost. They took it out, no problems, no worries. And if it hadn't come out, I would have had serious health issues. So this is actually very good for you. Oh, they're calling me. Morning. Morning. They gave me a file. What do you do? I'm a professional eater. So I'll be starting with the short medical history of yours. Okay. Tell me about your chief complaints. I used to have asthma as a child. Any chest pain any time? No. While walking, breathlessness? It might be because I've eaten too much, but otherwise, no. Oh. Any acidity complaints? No. What about the diet? Three times a day I eat meat. Any physical activity? Just my biceps to feed my face. I have to put sedentary then? Sedentary, yes. I'll just check your height and weight. Okay. One twelve. 12.5. I've lost weight. BP is 125 by 90. I'll just calculate your BMI. Uh, height is 174. Weight is 112.5. So your BMI is 37. That's a lot. I can tell by the way your eyebrows are going up. Yeah, <laughs> because normal BMI is just 32. What is BMI, doctor? It's basal metabolic index. Hmm. We calculate it uh, according to the height and weight. Okay. According to the height, your weight has to match. Great. Thank you, doc. Very nice meeting you. Oh God, it's 110 by 60. Already? I'm calculating your BMI. So it's 29. Which means I am overweight. Overweight. Maybe I'll reduce one meal. You can have your food, but along with that, one hour of exercise is a must. We're doing the pulmonary function test, okay. test the capacity of your lungs to expand and contract and let the air in and out. That's what we're trying right now. Now, 
Okay, thank you. ये वायर तो सुना था बाबू मोशाय ये एक्सरे क्या होता है रे एक्सरे मतलब अननोन बेंगोली दिस आर नो इज द ब्रेकफास्ट रूम बिकॉज इफ यू टेक टी एंड पुट अ स्मॉल वन हेयर इट बिकम्स एग यू बी सीरियस वेर इन अ हॉस्पिटल यू नो व्हाट ईसीजी रियली मींस नो लाइक यू नो बीसीजी में टीका लगता है हां यू नो व्हाट यू गेट इन एन ईसीजी नो करें हाउ शॉकिंग PMD means uh, totally must to be told. No, treadmill test. You'll have to run on a treadmill for 20 minutes. I know what TMD means. What? Take my turn. <laughs> This is not fun. When they did all those checks, they found that my blood pressure was really low, one ten sixty, and my hemoglobin was really low. And that's never happened to me. And I shared with them that I have this bacterial infection. Didn't want to take any chances, so they said they have to check my alimentary canal out from both ends. <laughs> and all you viewers who are laughing at this, don't laugh because it happened to you. And they've given me this medicine, and I have to empty out everything from my stomach. I think I have to go again. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna be back. Do this easy, Rocky son. Fact: Being overweight or obese kills 28 lakh people all over the world every year. That makes it the fifth leading cause of global deaths. Fact: 65% of the world's population live in countries where obesity and overweight are killing more people than malnutrition and being underweight this may surprise a lot of you out there it surprised me india is the third most obese country in the world after usa and china and in india obesity has reached epidemic proportions epidemic globally there are 100 crore people 100 crore who are overweight and of that 30 crores are clinically obese it's true and i find uh, not being too active not being able to jump run around too much uh, getting breathless while i walk just even a simple act of going from point a to point b will actually tire me out and i am frankly sick of it so i'm going to do something about it really and as am i okay yeah. so in the next 12 weeks you and i are going to get fit i promise i'm going to lose 15 kilos or more I lose ten kilos or more. So I'm going to do everything that's going to lower my protein counts, make me healthier, make me slimmer, give me more exercise, <laughs> increase my lung capacity, make me better looking. Just call me Hrithik after this. Hrithik. Sorry, I might have done that too much. Darbinder. <laughs>